What's good? What's good, y'all? It's your boy A-Rock here, and I'm letting these guys do the intro for me. So, Mark, tell us about your costume. Awesome. Awesome. What do you love about the character Marth? Uh, well, I'm a big fan of the Fire Emblem series. I'm not just wearing this because of Smash Bros. I am wearing this because of Fire Emblem. And Marth is basically the patriarch of the whole series. So that's the best representation I can do. I totally agree. I love playing Marth and Smash. And I am really a big fan of Fire Emblem myself. That's why I love so much about Marth. I'm such a big dork that actually played the Japanese. Yes, it was about time that Marth should have had his own game in America, which I am so, so happy of. And that's it. Eight. I'm a Final Fantasy Type O. I'm a fist fighter. I refuse to use weapons at all. I think they're very, very distasteful. We represent the kingdom of Rubrum. Huzzah! <laughs> and I'm Ace from the same game, Final Fantasy Type Zero. I fight with cards. Wuss! <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about the characters? What I love, I like the fact that I have class. Most people use guns or swords, but I like to get up close and personal. It's an honorable way to take down my opponent. Very powerful. What do you think, Ace? Uh, I like that Ace is a, he's a nice guy and a cold-hearted girl. <laughs> sure you are. If you do say so yourself, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> <laughs> Did you all make your costumes? Some things we had to go get ourselves, other things we were able to purchase online. It's kind of a mix of both. So, it's kind of a blend there. Like the flag, for instance, this thing we had to go put together ourselves. Well, alright, Ace put together. Because he's more good at that stuff. The guy fights with cards, what do you expect? So, he's, he's skilled at that sort of thing. Whatever you did, it is awesome. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Go Rubrum! Tell ah. us about your costume. Well, it's from the cartoon Star vs. Forces of Evil, and I've been hired here as Star Butterfly. Awesome. Did you make the costume yourself? Nice. Good amount of time too. Yeah. And what do you love about Star? I just love how crazy she is. And I love how, you know, her dynamic with her friend Marco in the show. And he's so, like, safe. But she's a crazy, magical girl. I think she's so fun. A magical princess, but yet at the same time, a magical warrior who fights monsters. Exactly. That's what I love about that show. It has a mix between royalty action and a princess being herself awesome. and <coughs> so tell us about your costume we are a group costume of the hero six we have kira coco tommy and honey lemon we uh kind of slapped ashes together but we love you this kind of stuff and now we're here we are here <laughs> I love Big Hero 6. I am a huge fan of Big Hero 6. What do you love about the characters? Mine is really laid back, so I like her. She's really just go with the flow, and then it, does, it doesn't work to speed on the track. Speed demon. You live with I live, breathe, and it's kind of am with I didn't think I was, and then I saw the movie, and I am. <laughs> and um, I kind of got connected to Honey Lemon because Exactly, my natural hair, so that wants to be And then also, I'm a soon to be Kevin's graduate, so it kind of clicked. Awesome. And did you make the costumes yourself? Yeah, he's done. He's put together, made parts that we needed. That is epic. Keep it up. I really love your art. Thank you. Tell us about your costume.
cool, cool. What do you love about that character? Um, I really like her diverse personality and like how she's like changing it. She's got like five different personalities that can be totally altering and very positive. Um, yeah, I kind of like to go for characters that seem to at least be a little bit outgoing. Awesome. I see you put a lot of work into the costume. That's what I love about cosplayers, putting work into their costumes and the characters that they truly love. So tell us about your costume. Yes, I love Steven Universe. <laughs> what do you love about the character? I just love the fact that you know all the characters are all so nice and supportive, and they do have some good laughs in it too, and it's very hurtful as well. Right. Rose is a great, but it's Mother Nature. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and, uh, and a great warrior amongst the Crystal Gems. Yeah. Did you make the costume yourself? Um, yeah, I just sort of had like stuff around the house that I just used. I had this before. This. I didn't have this. I got this all Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Do you have your Rose Quartz Gemstone? It's in my bag right now, so I'm trying to get it underneath my shield, but I'm going to put it on later. It's, it's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah. And that is that. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you supposed to be? So, tell us about your costume. Basically, I just thought, you know, since uh, Marvel was recently got by Disney, I do Disney Princess Loki. Awesome. Like a Disney Princess of Loki. Yes. Awesome. Very creative. Thank you. Did you build the costume on your own? I'm sorry? Did you build the costume on your own? Yes, I did. Almost all of us. Even so, it's still awesome. What do you love about being the character? I just love how he's you know, so unpredictable. You know, you never know what he's going to do next. The jokester. Yeah, he is always He drives everybody a little bit crazy. I think they're like <laughs> One of the Avengers' top wanted enemies. Criminals. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we are at go. So tell us about your costume. Um, well, he was on vacation, so I basically made this costume. It's, um, he yeah, he bought the shorts, but I, the shirt, I took a yellow shirt, and we could not find a striped shirt anywhere, so I, like, put, it looks, it's sort of homemade looking, and I put duct tape on it, and then I did, um, spray paint to make the stripes, and then with this, um, my aunt and I went fabric shopping, and she, uh, sewed this together for me, so, yeah. Who are you cosplaying as? Um, I'm Kimitora from Mother 3, and he's Nestor Mark Mother 3. Uh, it should have been out in America. I know, and he thinks it's, uh, that Earth Mode's better than it. They really need... I, I, I like Mother 3 better, but I like both of them. They really need to put Mother... All the Mother games back into the 3DS. Yes, because I agree. Because it is a work of art. It's so, they're so good. They're so good. Shige Sato Itoi, the creator so of... Good. So good. Yes. Now they're making Mother 4. It's fan-made, but it looks really great. I really... I've been trying to play it, but I am unable to find it. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I play Earthbound right now. I finished Mother 3 a few months ago, but yeah, I love it. It's good. And the president of the American Nintendo Company refuses to put those games. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah. What's his name? Yeah, Reggie. I don't know his last name, but it's Reggie. It's like or something. I was like, boo. I don't know. I, I don't care. 
Yes, yes. And But then people don't want to download the emulators. And really, no, I'm not just meaning that it'll, it'll get a wider audience. They really should. Yeah, well, they should. I, I'm not saying they should. What do you love about the characters? Um, I love that Kimitora is strong and tomboyish and powerful and amazing. And she's like my favorite character ever. I like about this. I like that he. I don't know. I like the state of the I like, yeah. It's beautiful. It really is. Thank you so much. Yeah. Ready when you are. So tell us about your costume. Nice, nice. Yeah, it didn't take that. I mean, I'm pretty fast. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, and they light up and everything. I just don't have it turned on right now because we're shopping. It's fine. It lights up and stuff. Yeah, it's fine. 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 Yeah, it
Do you know how long it took you to make it? I didn't make this. I bought this, but I made the book and like the wig and stuff. I didn't make the costume. Aw, so you always, this is what, this is the cosplay struggle these days. You, everybody buys it rather than make it. Um, I don't think that's a bad thing because I think people who make it get money from it and they work really hard for it and they want to sell it, so I think it's a cool thing. Alright, well, that's true. That's awesome. That's awesome though. about the anime? I really like the animation style, first of all. It is absolutely gorgeous. Even with the CGI integrated into it, it gives some really, really good shots. But also, I really like the feelings of friendship between all of the main cast. Like, you can really feel them connect with each other when they play. What inspired you to make the costumes? The, uh... All right, so um, you really love the anime. I think it's... I'm not a huge fan of sports animes. I will say it's better than most sports animes, and this for you know and for that reason I decided why don't we do this one. She's a longtime fan of Kuroko No Basket, so I decided to cosplay as Taika Kagami, someone who she ships with her main character. Did you make these jerseys yourselves? No, we did not. Um, however, we bought them online at eBay, and actually, these funny story. Um, when we actually bought this, they actually made a mess up in the factory, so the back half of this jersey is actually her jersey. They gave him. Uh, Jersey. So, but we just decided to go with it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's funny. And it's, I mean, like, it was a, finding the wigs was right. We actually had to, we had to style this wig ourselves, though. I mean, we yeah. just found this wig for like ten dollars. Yeah, she styled it. She did my makeup on the eyebrows. So, you know, I mean, it was half DIY, half buying things. But you know, I would say more buying things than DIY. Yeah. Actually, you knew that. <laughs> knew, what is this? The, what is the next series of Orange is the New Black? Yeah. Well, I haven't had that one before. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys are, uh, but I still, you guys, you guys, seriously, you guys are good. My name is Katie. Uh, I go by Kat and Optis online, and I'm cosplaying Cinderella from from the new movie, the new Disney movie. Um, I commissioned the gown. I didn't make it, but I did do my wig work, and the gown was custom measured to me. It's got eight layers in the skirt. It has a giant hoop underneath it, and it's hard to walk in, but it's so much fun to to see everyone's reactions. And I love being Disney princesses. My favorite things to cosplay. Really? Because mm -hmm. everyone everyone knows Disney, and it just makes everyone so happy. And I also love seeing kids' reactions. I do. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen part. I've done like her kids' kids' um, birthday parties and costume before, especially as Elsa from Frozen. And the looks on their faces when they see you and think you are the princess are just. It's just fantastic. Oh, that's incredible. So, and this is pretty much the like conglomeration of every princess dream I ever had as a child. So when I saw the movie and loved the movie, I said, well. This is my dream gown, so I may as well go for it. <laughs> well, that's not bad. Get back in time and say, hey, go crazy. Affect the timeline? Who cares? They're not. You can do that for free. We'll pay you. That's amazing. Hey, hey, Cobra. 
Yes, then you know what? There's a fine gentleman with a fine white sign over there. It says, out of time. Out of time? So. Time is irrelevant. Time does not exist. Can we get one more big cobra? Can we get one more big cobra? And I want this to be louder. I want this to be amazing. I want this to be spectacular, ultimate, spidery. Can we get one more giant cobra that the downstairs can hear us? On the count of one, two, three. Cobra, now that you've rallied an army, what are you going to do next? It's okay. No one is allowed to know who I am. <laughs> We're friends on Facebook, though. Well, well, message. message me. We, no, we really need to talk. Yes. Because it's great. Biden totally. No, we need, we, need, we need a third person. What do you say? We need a third person. Yeah, let me, seriously, let yeah. me know. No, really. Are you no. uh, going to Connecticut Comic Con tomorrow? Yes. Through the roof, man. Well, Cobra, now that you've got an army, what are you going to do next? Well, I'm not going to go to Disney World. <laughs> um, hey, Angela. I was thinking about sitting back, smoking a doobie. I hate to say it, but we've got to take, we gotta take it outside. Our time up. Our time so our time up. is up. Let's shake hands and say you're awesome. You're awesome. Oh, you're you're right. awesome. Please don't cut yourself on my thin blade, brother. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. Good venture. Yeah. I'll stop by. I'll stop by. Yes. Go and be awesome.